I, I cut out. Oh, go in and out. How's that? I'll do this okay. for some effect. <laughs> what up? Hi, friends. <laughs> Hi. No. Nope. Camera clean. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for us. Just. <laughs> yeah, please share our contact. If you contact. Key my words. Please start. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with you? That's what you told me to say. <laughs> normal. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> hey friends, I'm Jose. And I'm Nicole. And we're Heavenly Acres Farm. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been in a video. Um, so we wanted to sit down and chat with you guys today and give you some of the updates and show you what's going on in the gardens and how the chickens are doing. Yep, I think we have a, I think we have some stuff to talk about. Yeah. You know, it's kind of... Is at that point where we're getting rid of our summer plants and moving mm -hmm. into fall. So it's a pretty exciting time. Um, yes. We've been pretty busy, but right now it's gonna, you know, we're gonna see the changes that are gonna undertake this backyard farm of ours. Yep. So we'll start with the gardens today. We'll give you guys the garden updates first, and then we'll go into the chickens, and then we can touch on Tennessee and anything else that pops into our mind. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. Some of the best stuff in the garden right now are peppers, lufa, herbs, beans. I'm looking around to see. Zinnias. Peppers. So peppers. Yeah. We've been harvesting a ton of peppers. Um, I'll put the photo up here of some of the harvest we've had recently. But as you can see um, in the footage that's rolling, the pepper plants have been doing amazingly well. Amazing. We've grown so many peppers that I think we're using some just for seed. Mm -hmm. So we have a bunch of seeds. Yes. So seeds, I have a question for you guys. If we were to offer some seed sales, would that be something you guys would be interested in? Um, we obviously are not professional like seed growers, um, but we have an abundance of some seeds, especially the peppers, marigolds, um, some tomatoes, and we'd be happy to offer those up. I cannot guarantee that they weren't cross-pollinated, so I'll be like totally forthcoming with that. Um, but let us know below if that would be something you would be interested in. I can always put up a little list of seeds that we have available because we have a lot to share. <laughs> so peppers are doing great. My loofa is doing amazingly well. Um, I think that'll probably come out in the next week or two. So we will show the harvest from that. There are several loofa on there. So the arch trellis is really filling out. I'm really happy with how that's looking. So a little sad to tear that down. But this season um, for fall, we are gonna be doing vining winter squash up there. But as you can see, the loofa, I've got several of them. Um, we will harvest a bunch green a couple are going to be dry enough already and then they'll just continue drying in the house yeah we also did grow some cucumbers right on the on the arch trellis and that mm -hmm. was uh that was a pretty uh, epic fail yeah they took a really long time to get started um that area is a bit shadier so it struggles a bit the soil's not as great back there um i actually had planted watermelon and some cucumber varieties and although they are starting to vine now they're going to be pulled out of there before they even have a chance to do anything and that's just one of the the things that happens with gardening some things do really well and other things don't yeah that was a bummer front yard okra so i've been growing okra in both the back and the front yard in the backyard i think i've only harvested so far one okra um, those plants are in the back of the yard near where the trellis is. So again, a lot more shade, soil quality is not so great, but the front yard okra are doing spectacular. They're actually just planted around our flagpole in the front and I've harvested, I don't know, at least probably three dozen from the front there. And actually today I'm going to make a little treat for Jose and I. We're going to try the air fryer okra from Lazy Dog Farm. Oh, so yeah. I'm really excited that to try that. Good yeah. Okay. So we'll take a picture and we'll put it on Instagram and we will tag them. We really love their channel. We love them as a couple on YouTube. It's really fun to watch them interact. They remind us a lot of our, our goofy selves. <laughs> <laughs> and then our tomato plants, you know, they're done. They're mm -hmm. dying back. Super humid out here, super hot. They weren't getting enough water and then just the humidity. We got a lot of mealy bug issues with a yes. bunch of plants. Have you guys had mealy bug issues this season? This is the first time that we've dealt with them like this. I had them once 
a few seasons ago on an echinacea plant, just one plant. Um, and then everything else in the garden was fine. But this year they've attacked the tomatoes. They've been trying to attack my zinnias. They devastated one of my bee balm plants in the container. They've been on, they loved the Egyptian spinach that I had planted. They decimated the spinach. I mean, they've just, we've really struggled with them this summer. They, they didn't take any prisoners this time. <laughs> they kind of went at everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, so that was that was some, some of our challenge this season. Eggplants are doing okay. Yeah. Um, we got a little harvest off the eggplants. Well, two little harvests off the eggplants. They're still going, uh, but they're, you know, they're taking a while. They're taking a while. Uh, they don't get a lot of sun where they're at, uh -uh. Um, but they're slow producing, but they're producing. But yeah. they're going to come down too, so this... Uh, this is the last time you're gonna see these plants? Uh, well, maybe. The eggplants have a good four, maybe five weeks left mm -hmm. because what's gonna go in there are, I think, brassicas, if I remember correct. No, squash. 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 So we'll direct sow the squash. So we'll give the eggplants a few weeks and kind of see where they're at. And once I'm ready to just pop those squash in there, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, last time we did cabbages, we the cabbages were awesome. We were yeah. harvesting cabbage from there for couple months it seems yeah. like right um into the summer into like the summer yeah way into the summer good. yeah so we'll probably end up doing that again um but yeah we're gonna switch it around do some uh squash mm -hmm. yep squash squash, squash. <laughs> um since we mentioned it we'll jump out of the garden real quick and i will show you guys the clip of the seeds that we started we'll have we'll do a video where we're giving more detail as to what we're planting whoa come as down <laughs> those big feet of yours and knocking everything down Jeez, Sasquatch came in. Sasquatch ah. or Sasquatch? Sasquatch. Sasquatch or uh, squash? Sasquatch. Sasquatch. <laughs> Maybe we'll grow a giant squash and we call it Sasquatch. <laughs> call it Nikki. Oh <laughs> so, <laughs> seed starting. I started, um, let's see. I did 100 soil blocks. No, 200 soil blocks. Yeah. So, video footage rolling mm. here. Yeah, 50 in each tray. Yeah. And I did four trays. Yep, so I did 200, 200 soil blocks um, over the course of two evenings. I did it in our dining room because it's so darn muggy out here. Yeah, it really is. Um, it's muggy right now. Like, yeah, I'm uh, getting a little it's fogged 9 up. It's 9.30 in the morning. And my shirt sticking yeah. to me already. And I can see like a, 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 a sweat mustache a on you. A dew. <laughs> yeah, so let me get my, my dew mustache going here. So I wanted to be able to enjoy the process of making the soil blocks. So I actually used my Rubbermaid container that I always use when I make them, pulled it into the dining room, pulled the soil in there. Um, I didn't make a really big mess, so I was really pretty proud of myself. It was a pretty, pretty clean process actually doing it in there. And I had a separate bucket of water that I would you know, clean the soil blocker off with. I'd make my two trays and then I would plant all the seeds. And it was actually, it actually helped me be a lot more organized. Everything's properly labeled. So Jose should be excited as long as I don't like screw it up and pull everything out later and not all I have to say with, with what? we'll see when it grows and it pops <laughs> yeah because it's been labeled before and it's still not right I'm not the most organized gardener when it comes to labeling <laughs> so whatever so yeah I did all the soil blocks planted the seeds so if we have 200 soil blocks I planted 400 seeds basically in those sets because I did two in each mm -hmm. yeah so right, right now we've got really good germination. That footage is rolling, so you can see that. Um, we've got them inside under the grow light. So yeah, they're doing really well. They are, they are. What is another standout in the garden right now? Another standout in the garden is the beans. 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 We've been harvesting beans like two, three times a week. Actually, I'm doing probably like four or five now. Wow. Every, like be, almost every day, I yeah. come out and grab a really good handful of beans. We did a really big harvest at the end of last week and then like two days later i came out must have been monday because i texted you you were at work and i was like i just harvested another like 63 beans i was like i counted them just because you know it doesn't look like a, a whole it looks like you know a big handful but it doesn't look like a lot and i counted them and i'm like holy cow that's a lot i mean the way i, I measure it we were having like two three meals of beans a week and, and nicole right here snacks on them all, all through the day yeah i actually use beans every day of the weekday for my lunches i do a veggie stir fry basically every day for lunch and i use beans every single day and that's been really fun um a lot of my lunches are just garden produce added with a little bit of cabbage like organic cabbage from the grocery store since we don't have cabbage right now um to kind of bulk it up but i've been using our beans our peppers every day um 
I have some fermented greens from last season that I top them with. So I, I eat as much garden produce every day as possible and I'm, do, I'm able to get all my lunches out of the garden basically. Yeah, another benefit of the garden right now too is one of the green stalks will regrow, um, what is it? Herbs. Yeah, yeah. the herb um, stalk. We have parsley and we have thyme and we have oregano. Mm -hmm. And the chickens have been taking advantage of that. So nothing's been going to waste there, which I'm very happy about, yes. you know? Yeah, I was actually getting really kind of concerned because I have a lot, like a really good abundance of those three herbs. And I've already, you know, frozen some into ice cube trays. Mm -hmm. I've dehydrated a ton. So we have a bunch of dried stuff that I want to make sure we're able to work through. And I was like, what am I going to do with all this? And so we started researching and we're able to feed all of those to our chickens and they all have really good health and medicinal benefits. So yeah, I mean, daily I'm giving the chickens, we're giving the chickens herbs. Mm -hmm. We've also been giving them sweet potato vine, which they absolutely love the sweet potato vine. They don't eat the vine, they eat the leaves. Um, they really like those. We've also given them a tomato. We've given them okay. corn, okay. Uh, corn cobs. After I cut all the raw corn off of it, we gave them the cobs. They really liked that. Mm -hmm. We gave them soldier fly larva. I gave them peaches, frozen green beans. They really liked the frozen green beans. So yeah, we've been giving them a lot of um, different foods and trying different foods. And it's funny because I, I feel like such a proud chicken mom. I give them something and then if they like it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. It's fun, it's fun to watch them. They, they have their own personalities. And, they do. They you know, do. they're like their little buddies. I don't know, I can just be out here watching them for hours mm -hmm. sometimes after work. It's yeah. pretty cool, I mean, I like it. <laughs> it. It definitely makes me realize that I will need to interact differently with our meat chickens than I do with our layer flock. Like this is our layer flock. Um, and I will love our meat chickens and care for them, but I'm not going to be interacting the same way with them because it's going to be really hard to dispatch them if <laughs> I do, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I was talking to Angel yesterday and he was telling me, Dad, you, you should name the chickens. I'm like, what am I going to name them? Fingers, nuggets, <laughs> stuff like Thighs, that. tenders. Yeah. <laughs> that way when you introduce them to people, you can say they're chicken fingers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chicken nuggets. You know, also with, uh, you know, you, you mentioned all the dry herbs that we have. I actually used oregano today for the salsa. I haven't oh, used you did? That before. Yeah. yeah. So I sprinkled a little bit of oregano on the salsa. Nice. I think that added a little bit of flavor, so that was pretty good. And then talking about peppers, we also got some peppers from Robin, mm -hmm. which were pretty good. I, you didn't tell me what type they were. So Robin from Southern Latitudes, she um, pulled four pepper plants out of her gardens because she already has additional of those. So she had extra and she was kind enough to message us and ask if we wanted some. So she dropped off yeah. two pepper plants for us. I believe they're Tabasco. Tabasco. Yeah. Tabasco. Tabasco. Yeah. So I'm excited about those. That was so sweet. So thank you so yeah. much, Robin. They're in the garden doing really well. They are. Yeah. They've they've adjusted, which is great because we had a few really, really hot days after I transplanted them and I was very concerned, but I was out here babying them and they, they did really, really good. Yeah, they did. They're yeah. doing good right now. And uh, if you don't know Robin, you should go to her channel and check her out. Yeah. She uh, actually just planted a bunch of peppers herself in her garden. Mm -hmm. so. Yep, she's got a lot growing on over there. Um, really quick before we move on from peppers, I want to just insert the clip of the salsa. We've been, he's been making a bunch of salsa and I've been fermenting a bunch of peppers. Yeah. We're doing, we're trying to incorporate a lot of fermented foods into our diet. Um, it's just another interesting way to eat the produce from the garden that's extra. And um, beyond that, we've been dehydrating. So I dehydrated a bunch of peppers too. So we have multiple options. Yeah, we have actually a bunch of like surprise peppers. We don't know what type they are. <laughs> yeah. Like this little one in the back. We thought it was jalapeno, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, like I don't Tabasco know if it's Tabasco. Or cayenne. I, I don't Red know. Tide chili. We're not we're we just really yeah. not sure. But not we're just sure. letting it grow. And then the one over in the sub pot area. I don't know yeah. what that is. They look like little pumpkins, little yellow pumpkins. I think that those are what do I keep saying I think it is? Scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet. But I'm not sure. I don't know. It could just be a random seed that came in one of our packets mm -hmm. that was supposed to be something else. But anyway, the salsa I made today, um, it's, it's just, really good. It's really good, really spicy. I used all the hot peppers, mm -hmm. um, tomatoes, tomatillos. I even used some of these uh, cherry tomatoes we have back here. The, the little, what are they called? The ground, ground cherries. cherries. Yeah. Those are so good. I love those. They're called pineapple ground cherries. Yeah. So I threw a couple of those in there. I like those. Um, and they had a pretty good flavor. One of the things I wanted to share with you guys is that we've been 
really working towards using everything that we have, which is not always easy, especially when you know you're used to certain things. I did a post on Instagram the other day about our bee balm and how I finally really harvested from it for the first time and used it. Um, because Jose and I really like tea, I've been replacing my club soda habit during the week and during the day with drinking iced teas that I've been making from the garden. So I've been really like proud for that because it, you know, it saves us money and it uses what we're growing. So I harvested the bee balm for the first time, dehydrated a ton of it for tea. Um, and we also have been dehydrating our Moringa and using that for tea every day. So it's a, I put on the Instagram post, you do that, it's better for your, your health and better for your wealth. So <laughs> I, I really am trying to make use of everything we grow. Another thing in the garden too that uh, we wanted to show you guys, you can see this, what's going on here is with our compost. We've been collecting a lot of clippings a lot of you know from the garden and also grass cuttings and we've been just piling it up and it's looking really good as, as you can see right here yeah we'll we're excited there. about that yeah. we also you know still have the sub pod but we wanted to extend our composting efforts and use some of the bigger pieces um from from the backyard and front yard here and some of the bigger chick ch chicken scraps <laughs> some of the bigger kitchen scraps and things that we can't necessarily feed the worms like citrus that you know maybe went a little too far and things like that yeah. trying to make sure they don't end up in the landfill where they're not really able to decompose and we wanted to produce a bigger volume so we will mm -hmm. be mixing this compost with some of the worm compost and then you know putting that back into the garden so i think that's gonna be pretty good yeah pretty good one of the last things in the garden that we wanted to touch on are the zinnias. Um, they've been doing really well this year. I'm, I'm super happy with them. I love growing flowers. I also have some marigolds randomly scattered um, throughout the yard in the front and the back. But the zinnias have been doing really nicely. It's my best year with them. I really look forward to being on the farm and having lots of space and being able to grow rows and rows of cut flowers. So that's something that I really look forward to. You know, another thing that's been doing really good, we didn't even think about it, we mentioned it slightly, the sweet potatoes. Oh yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> they look like they're doing really well because they have lots of vines, which I've been snipping they're off everywhere. and giving to the yeah. chickens. But you don't really know what you have until you dig them up. And we've had like a really awful time growing potatoes and sweet I think potatoes. I seen some of those. We had some pretty epic fails. Some fails. Yeah, they're on the channel. I'll have to like put them up in the corners or something. They've been in there like over 100 days. And yeah, so at this we're, point, we're kind of like, I don't know. We want to see what was, what's under there. But at the same time, we don't because we, <laughs> we don't know if there's yeah. anything at all. And we're going to be disappointed. But I think in the next couple of weeks, we're going to give it a go. Yeah. Bye. So yeah. even if it's a really short video, we're just gonna empty that bag out and we'll take you guys along and show you how we did. Hopefully we get something. Tubers or no tubers? Oh, gosh, that I hope we get question. something. All right, so I know I said the zinnias were the last thing, but the, the real last thing is the pink pineapples. Um, so we have, gosh, I think we started with 48 plants. We're somewhere in the 40s still. Mm -hmm. um, a couple didn't take, but we have a lot. So as you guys can see, they're growing really well. They've got like lots of nice new green growth on them. Um, they are in very small pots. We don't really have anywhere to well, the put small, them to. The small ones are doing really good. Some of the bigger ones, I think I'm gonna put in the ground today just so that we can have some in this property and we can come back, you know, a year or mm -hmm. two years from now and pick some pink pineapples, but yeah. I don't want them all to go to waste. We're gonna give some away? Yeah, we're gonna give some away. I haven't really figured out how to do, how I wanna do the contest. I guess, let's just do this. Just like the video and leave a comment if you're interested in the pink pineapple giveaway. Yeah. And I'll, I'll reshare this on Instagram and I'll just direct everybody over to the YouTube channel. Um, so the only thing you have to do is like this video, leave a comment below. Pink and, pineapple. Yes, for a pink pineapple plant. Um, yeah. How many do we want to give away? Um, I don't know. Let's do, what, three? Five? Let's do four. I like four. Four. <laughs> so we'll give away <laughs> four. Um, so if you are interested, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment below. And, and that you got to include you in. pink pineapple in the comment. Yeah, let's do that. And then additionally, beyond giving away four, I wouldn't mind selling some. So once the giveaway is closed, 
Um, if you are interested, you wanna buy more, or you wanna buy some if you didn't win, um, please just send us an email. Our email address will be below, um, heavenlyacresfarmtn at gmail.com. Go ahead and send us an email or you know, DM me on uh, our Facebook page or our Instagram and we will coordinate with you selling some of these because you know we really don't want them to go to waste we don't have the ability right now to transfer them up to the tennessee property um there's i don't know that the deer would eat them but there's been a lot of deer damage this year and we need to do some soil work um which we'll talk about next but yeah so pink pineapples we're excited to share um tennessee tennessee i get so excited when i think about it <laughs> well let's talk about some tennessee would you say so we will be um, making an extended trip, which we're excited about. Yes, we're actually here in, in uh, mid-September. We're going to be going up there for a full week. Um, our kids are are joining us up there, and Nicole's big feet are kicking. No, the that was my hand. I did it with my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, Roque is heading out there, and so is Isa. Um, we're mm -hmm. looking forward to spending the week with them out there and yeah. doing some chores. Um, I know I'm going to be cutting some trees down. What do you have? I have, I want to get some stuff cleared out of the barn. Um, I wouldn't mind us moving the react system from the barn into the garage yeah. and getting some organization going in the garage. The previous owners have a really big, nice, like metal react system that we want to get set up. We're taking a U-Haul this time around because we, we did get some appliances and we had them delivered here that we need to take back over to mm -hmm. Tennessee, um, which is actually a great opportunity since we have the U-Haul to be able to, because we have for like four days, mm -hmm. we're going to be able to take out and clean out the garage of all the stuff we have in there if we want to put that yes. shelving system. And haul, we, we'll be able to haul stuff to the dump. One of the other things we're going to need to do when we're there, um, which we're both really excited about, is work on some of the soil projects we need to get done. We have very heavy, compact clay on the farm up there. It's never been farmed, but it's very compact. So there's a lot of soil work we need to do. We are gonna till for the first time on any area that we're gonna be planting. It's just kind of necessary. We're gonna have to till and we're gonna have to add a bunch of organic matter into the soil, um, which you know we expected when we, when we purchased. We didn't expect to have a lot of really great soil. So we're gonna be doing the area for the high tunnels um, because we ordered cover crop, more cover crop, which we'll talk about in a later video, like what choice we made with that. But we're gonna till those areas where the tunnels are gonna go. And then we're gonna till some areas in the front for f cut flower rows. Now I won't be planting cut flowers yet. Um, what I actually kind of wanna do once we till those areas is to put like some pumpkin seeds in there and just see if I can get some pumpkins to grow this season, just so something's in there. Um, we could also cover crop that area just so it's not exposed. And then in the later part of the year, hopefully November, I'll get my tulip bulbs. I placed a like 50 bulb order of an assortment of different tulip bulbs. And I actually need to plant those this fall, well this fall winter, and then they'll come up in the spring. So that's part of what we're tilling up and getting ready um, we're not sure if we're using the hand, a little walk behind tiller, or if we're visiting Kubota while we're there again, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to stay tuned. Yes. Don't know yet. <laughs> don't know. Yeah. We're back and forth. That's a big purchase, but yeah. we'll see. We'll see what we, we decide. Yeah. Stay There's tuned. a few factors. Yeah. yeah. Other than just enjoying, we're hoping to explore, you know, a bit more. See the, take the kids to see the local area, go to some of the restaurants in town that we've been wanting to go to. Yeah, every time we've been out there, it's been a pretty, I would say we've been in a rush because we only have a couple of days there to, uh, mm -hmm. to work on things. So there's gonna be a lot of chores going on, but you know, we'll bring you along to uh, to follow us along along uh, while we're doing these chores, um, cutting the grass, cutting some trees. I think we mm -hmm. wanna finish painting one of the rooms. We wanna finish furnishing as well, which we're, we're got an expected delivery. And like I said, we're taking appliances here. So mm -hmm. it's all moving in the right direction. Yeah, so we'll have those updates for you guys too. The house is coming along. We're, we're getting there. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're excited. So last but not least, we will give you guys the chicken update. So as you can see, the chickens are so much bigger. They grow every single day. Their plumages are coming in plumages. Is that a word? The plumage, plumage is coming in. 
and, and the silver dot or the silver lace wine dots are, are looking pretty pretty nice pretty nice um yep the americanas uh they kind of got my favorite coloring right now the amberlinks of course are pretty pretty white as amber well. links amber links they're the they're the biggest ones they're the oldest ones those ones are catching up yeah they are yeah. but the amber links are the biggest ones and they are the most bold ones too and yeah. the most i would say the most friendly they're not so they're not scared of us they come up and try and run out of the coop and let us hold on i don't know what stuff. she's talking about one of them keeps wanting to eat my finger and then we got a couple of red ones um <gasps> ruby we love those uh, yeah those cool. red ones are really pretty yeah but we enjoy having them around the the backyard mm -hmm. backyard chickens yep we just sometimes i open the window in the bedroom so i can hear them better but you can hear them through the windows a little bit yeah. we love listening to them i come out here during the day i take a break from work and give them some kind of treat and you know hold a couple of them and they're just they're so relaxing they're so cute i love having yeah. them great addition to the farm for sure <laughs> all right guys so that's gonna do it for us this week on the farm thank you so much for joining us we really appreciate every single view that we have we love you guys and enjoy sharing our our farming adventures with you if you like the video please give it the thumbs up yeah and share our videos Yep, share them on social media if you feel so inclined. We would appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. There's going to be a lot of really fun content coming along. I mean, I think our content now is interesting, yeah. but it's. I know that it's kind of sporadic. You know, we, we share what we can when we can. Um, but as things get closer and closer to, you know, coming to life on the farm in Tennessee, there's going to be a lot of farm footage you get to see our farm start from nothing and grow into a whole lot of something yep so stay tuned yeah stay tuned you'll go with us through our struggles yeah <laughs> all right guys we hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you in the next one